Grace Kempton. And I'm Ashley Bennett and welcome to Chadsgrove News. The Chadsgrove Children's Choir have been wowing local crowds in Bromsgrove. The children have been singing at the Christmas market and the Christmas lights with John. They managed to keep a smile despite the cold weather. On Monday the 21st of November the Pearl of Africa Children's Choir came to sing in school. They entertained all the children and staff with two shows, one for lower school and one for upper school. They performed some traditional African songs and drumming. Students even got to join in with the performance too. Mrs. Morgan to ask her some questions and find out about the 1925. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you. This week we're getting to know Mrs. Morgan and about the 1925 group. Mrs. Morgan, who's your role model? My role model would be Mother Teresa. Um, she was a, a, a nun who worked in the streets of Calcutta and against mm -hmm. all adversity she got to where she needed to be. Okay, mm. <laughs> very good answer Mrs Morgan. Thank um, you Grace. What is 1925? 19 to 25, this has been in my um, dream, in my vision for about the mm. last three or four years. Mm. And it's dreaming about giving youngsters, once they've left Chadsgrove, a mm. real purpose to their life. Mm. About giving them work and experience opportunities mm. and about giving them accreditation courses that mm. are relevant to their lives mm. once they've left Chadsgrove School. Mm. So the next question is, how did the idea begin? The idea be began from Mrs Morgan sitting in with 
parents at meetings and really them not knowing what was going to happen mm. to their youngsters once they'd actually left Chadsgrove. Mm. And I started doing quite a bit of research around opportunities mm. with other local authorities had given mm. to their youngsters and really looking at how we could develop a very similar facility mm. over in Worcestershire. Um, what activities are on the timetable? Oh, now that's a really good question. We've got lots of activities and it's a very structured timetable. Mm -hmm. So we have things like functional literacy, functional maths. Uh, we also have enterprise groups. We also have some beautiful students from Chad's Grove School over to the centre, setting up their business enterprise, doing some volunteering and really developing the knowledge of working in businesses. Okay, I've got a little bit of a silly question now. Okay. If you could eat food for the rest of your uh, one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? One food for the rest of my life, it'd have to be Chinese, and it'd have to be crispy duck. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay. How do you feel when you walk into school uh, in the morning? Well, I feel very privileged to work at Chadsgrove School with such mm. lovely, lovely students. Mm. I've been here a little while now, Grace, and the moment I feel like I don't want to come into school will be the day that I don't want to come to work, and mm. I never feel like that. Mm. How did you feel when 1925 opened? Um, I was very proud because it's not been easy. You're mm. doing something new. We've had mm. to go through trials and tribulations just like everybody starting on a new venture we've had to do lots of persuading of people but everyone in school and everyone in the local authority and mrs ratley has been very supportive and if everybody works together to get to one vision you're going to get there and the big thing is a bit of grit and determination and you eventually get there well thank you mrs morgan it's been lovely interviewing you thank you grace a pleasure <laughs> That's all for this week for Judge Road News. I've been Grace Kempson. And I've been Ashley Bennett. We'll see you very soon with some more exciting stories. Bye! Bye.